Welcome to Homeschooling with Heart. My name is Steph. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. If you are new here, I'm a homeschooling grandmother to one eight-year-old grandson. And if you are not new here, thank you. Thank you for returning. Um, thank you for subscribing. Y'all put a smile on that child's face every single time we get a new subscriber. So thank you very much for, for subscribing and liking our videos. We love all of the beautiful people that watch this channel, if you're a subscriber or not a subscriber. But, you know, we tend to give our subscribers just, you know, a little bit more love. <laughs> I'm playing. But I'm playing. Anyway, <laughs> today I'm going to go over heart three of our favorite curriculum. I am also going to show you today a few of the books that we did receive. This is uh, the first year that we actually have a spelling program. We have been just using kind of the natural speller method. I have been reading uh, Design a Study, Natural Speller, and kind of going by what they have for, you know, grades one and two here, word lists, word lists, um, and then just kind of giving these to Remington. And this is really where I noticed that he had a problem with um, sounding the word out and I thought, okay, he needs a little bit more help with the, um, the tougher blends, things that he should be able to spell in the first and second grade. And this, I think, goes all the way through this is, uh, spelling activities for grades one through eight. Um, this is a pretty good resource, especially if you are designing um, unit studies, things like that, uh, creating your own uh, spelling list. This is a really good resource, uh, at least, you know, I, I thought it was a really good resource to have. We have stepped up our game a little bit this year, and I've actually gone with a spelling program. And the spelling program that we are going to be using this year is the Traditional Spelling One by Memoria Press. And I searched and searched and searched for a uh, spelling curriculum for him. And this is what I landed on for this year. So we have the uh, teacher's manual. We have the student workbook, and then I also bought the um, practice sheets. And then I also have the classical phonics, uh, a guide to word mastery, along with the phonics flashcards that they offer. And I will go into this in a different uh, video when I when I really go over, you know, what we're doing for uh, language arts. But to give you an idea, this is the direction that we're going. Um, I have been looking and searching high and low. I under... <laughs> I understood that um, he was going to memorize words and that he was going to read in context, you know, read the word and then try to figure out the words around it and that that's all good and fine and everything. What I couldn't get people to understand was that I needed him to learn some blends because he wasn't able to sound out some of the words that should be sounded out. Yes, some of them should be memorized because they have no rhyme or reason, but some of them 
do have a phonetic or spelling rule and he needs to be able to sound those out. So when I was looking for a spelling program, I really wanted it to have um, a phonetics portion to it as well. And then I found Memoria Press and it was exactly what I was looking for. They, now we're gonna share some books that have come in and I'm gonna share another favorite curriculum that we will be doing this year in our third grade program. And if you have been around this channel for any length of time, I am sure that you know what curriculum I am speaking of. Gone over part one, and I have gone over part two. All right, so today we will go over the books that we are going to be reading this year in five in a row. Now, I do not have volume four yet. That is another book that I am waiting on. Um, but I will show you what we do have for volume three. I would love to know what curriculum is your favorite. If you have a favorite curriculum, let me know down at the bottom. Um, if it's a, uh, even if it's a favorite book, something that when you bring, when you bring it out, that your kids just are like, oh, oh, we're ready for this. You know, if it's science experiments, if it is music appreciation, let me know down at the bottom what your family's favorite curriculum happens to be. I am very interested to see your comments and y'all would make my day if you did that. All right, so let's take a look at the books that are in Five in a Row, Volume 3. We have The Duchess Bakes a Cake, Andy and the Lion, Daniel's Duck, The Salamander Room, Amber on the Mountain, Little Nino's Pizzeria, The Old Woman Who Named Things, The Bee Tree, Andy and the Circus, Paul Revere's Ride, Truman's Ant Barn, The Finest Horse in Town, and then the books that we are still on the hunt for are Henry the Castaway, The Wild Horses of Sweetbriar, Climbing Kansas Mountains, and Warm as Wool. So those are the few books that we are still on the hunt for. He is going to be completing the italic handwriting series. He is still working in the book B. Book C is on the way, but he still has some more work to do in book B. So, you know, C can take its time. <laughs> I'm getting here. I'm not freaking out on that as much as I'm freaking out on some of the other things that aren't here. I want to flip through of anything that you have seen today. Just let me know down at the con in the comments, and I will be happy to show you um, a few of the items that we have here. We still have to go over uh, what we're doing for Bible. We still have to go over his math, and then we still have to go over the rest of his language arts. And, oh yeah, science and sunlight. So we have a pretty full year this year. Thank you so very much for listening today, and now you have seen all three volumes. I cannot wait to get volume four in. I am very excited to see it, to take a look at it, show it to y'all as well. Again, leave me a comment. Let me know what your family's favorite curriculum is. Five in a row has been one of our favorite curriculum that we have found um, and yeah just leave me a comment if you would and let me know what yours is I would really appreciate it because this is kind of a way for you know y'all to y'all get to know me because I, I'm up here just talking you know 
<laughs> but I get to know y'all as well. You know, allows us to kind of share a little bit on this channel. I love hearing from you, so drop me a comment and let me know finding out what your favorite curriculum is, um, maybe what, you know, your child's favorite subject is, if you don't mind sharing that. So whatever you're comfortable sharing, I would really appreciate it. You would make my day if you did so. There you go. That's it. Thank you for watching. And until we meet again, be good to each other. Bye-bye.